Hey, what's up guys? I was actually talking to one person yesterday and I normally mind my own business, but I was just observing how they were conducting themselves and since I have similar problems that I could relate. And just say for example, he was saying that, oh, you know, I don't think that I could become this position because he wants to get promoted, he wants to transfer departments. He said, I don't think I could do it at this company. And he also said, oh, I, I said, if I were to promote you right now, would you be happy? And he said, probably not, because I, I most likely wouldn't do a good job. Because how, how you talk to yourself is very, very important. And um, I know, coming from my background, poor, broken home, I just so happen to be Asian, born in the United States of America, that sometimes Asian parents, they could be brutally honest. If, if you're fat, your skin is messed up, they'll tell you straight up. And they'll hurt your feelings versus maybe if they say, oh, you know, I know of this product that could help you. Are you interested in it? Or maybe they will persuade you into, you know, getting into better shape. But if, if you think that you're going to fail, you will fail. You're going to attract negativity. So life is hard no matter what, no matter if you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. So be conscious of how you're talking to yourself. If you need to record yourself, do it so that you can see yourself from the outside. So me, I think I'm an average guy. You know, I don't have any kids. I don't pay alimony. I don't pay child support. I don't want those problems and I don't have those problems. So also the main reason why I recognize these problems is because I was real. I was real negative in the past because that, that's just what I know. I, I grew up in that environment, but, you know, there's these books called, you know, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, or there's, like, subconscious books, and they're on YouTube, by the way. They're, they're free. So if you're sick of your life, you want to improve, you can improve. It will take time, you know. And you could be playing video games, leveling up your character on the server, and I get it. I used to play games a lot as a kid, and it didn't make me money. It didn't make me happy. It's a distraction. So, wow, why don't you guys level yourself up in real life and become a G? Just become better, you know? Get, get better every single day. Wow, when you get sick of your life, when you get your heart broken, wow, when you fell out of school, you know, all of these things happen to me. That, you know, you, you would have the fire. Hopefully you would have the fire to, to become better. Because you you can see how hard your parents work. You know, my, my parents, they, they grew up during the Vietnam War. They were blessed to come to the United States. I inherited, I inherited how they thought. And now I'm trying to change because I see them. You know, they're in their 60s. I would like to be better. And I would like to think that I'm better. Not in a cocky way. But you, you could always be better, you know. It's like you, you don't want to be stagnant. You don't want to be stuck. Try, try to find your mission purpose. Well, what do you want for, for your life? If money was no object, what would you be doing? If you're going to say, oh, I want to play video games, okay. Play, play video games, but be making that money. If you ain't making money doing it, you know, you should be striving to, to be a baller, essentially. And I'm not rich. My friend is rich, and I see him, I'm proud of him. We went to the same school. He's a millionaire. He ain't working. He, he's retired, essentially. He travels wherever he wants. He has tons of girls. I ain't got that. I would like to have that, and I aspire to be like that. So th this is my advice to myself, that if I could go back in time, this is what I would tell myself. Invest early. Budget your time, because time is money. Uh, you, you can get whatever you want in life, but uh, just give yourself the credit. Like, see what you did in the past and know things will be okay for you. I worried a lot in the past and it did nothing for me. It held me back. I was a prisoner in my own mind. I know that it could always be worse. There are certain people in certain countries, they only make $300 a month, a month. And these people in the United States, they're complaining, oh, I don't make enough money. Nah, it's not that you don't make enough money. You got to manage it properly. 
you got to put in the work so you could get to go where you want to go. Nobody's going to hand you anything. You're going to earn everything that you get. So I'm, I don't understand why you're super entitled. And I used to take care of people. They didn't have arms or legs. They didn't have their mental capacity. Trust me, it could always be worse. Um, I do understand that if your mental capacity is down, you're suffering some, some depression or certain problems, recognize your problems, figure out why you have these problems. Once you figure out why, seek help, improve. Also, another thing that I did was I was listening to uh, negative music. It's a waste of time. Did it get me into shape? Yes, it did. It, it gave me negative power, negative energy. But if you more focus on the positive aspects of self-development books, things that will help, actually help you grow, if, if you believe it, you're, you could achieve it. There's a better chance that you will get whatever you're thinking if you have a more positive mindset. But if you're like, yeah, you know, I, I can't get arms like this, you could look better than me, I promise you. I promise you can look better than me if you put in the work. Your sleep is on point, your diet, your hygiene, your exercise routine. Even brushing your teeth, make sure your breath smells good, your hair is combed, your skin looks on point, you got deodorant, cologne, your shoes is on point, your fashion, if you ain't got the money, figure out. Figure out how to get it, you will get it in time. I grew up poor from a broken home, 